9mm Ammo Quest is back with yet another very, very, very frequently requested test. So, as a recap, 3 inch barrel pocket pistols, very common. I'm trying to test ammo to find what performs best from this small pistol size. A lot of the ammo out there has been designed to work from longer barrel pistols. The candidate today is a classic Federal Premium Hydroshock 124 grain. This was this was a revolutionary bullet when it came out. It's, it's an old bullet. It's been on the market quite a while, but this is one of the first great performing hollow points back in the day. And I've seen many comments on various forums that basically say, you know what, wake me up when you test ammo that outperforms the Hydroshock. And, you know, it's like that, that's their barometer. The Hydroshock has been good enough for so long that unless something substantially outperforms it, they're like, yeah, just stick with the Hydroshock, right? Which I can see that point. But the Hydroshock has been supplanted for a reason, you know? It was one of the early designs and other designs have come out like the HST, which I think are substantially better, certainly more resistant to denim clogging than the Hydroshock was. But, you know what? I haven't tested the Hydroshock in 124 grand nine millimeter from a three inch pistol yet. So maybe it'll do just fine. Maybe it'll surprise us. Have we advanced the state of the art? Is the Hydroshock still just as good as all the rest of them? Let's go find out. We're going to put it through ballistic gelatin. I'm looking for a minimum of 12 inches, maximum of 18 inches. Those are standards set by the standard setting organizations for bullet performance. We're going to use four layers of heavy denim. So it'll be with and without the heavy denim. And we're going to find out how the Hydroshock fares from today's pocket pistol. Well, as far as the Hydroshocks go, a uh, big disappointment. Uh, now, you know, understanding the Hydroshock's been around a long time, long before there were three inch barrel pistols, but uh, based on these test results, I gotta say the Hydroshock is not appropriate for a three inch barrel. I fired three bullets through denim. Only one of them stayed in the block, and that came in at 14 and three quarters inches, which is good performance, but the other two not only totally overpenetrated this block, but they overpenetrated the next block also. They went well over 32 inches. I don't know how far they went because I only had two blocks up and they, they sailed through both blocks. So uh, once I saw that happening, I decided that, you know, there's no way I could recommend the ammo. So I just discontinued the denim testing after three rounds and I put two bear rounds in the block. And the bear rounds were okay-ish. One of them stopped at 11 inches and one of them did make it to 12. So, you know, one is below the minimum, one is right at the minimum, one is good, and two were awful. Here's recovered Hydroshocks, and uh, we got one that looks good. There's a little post standing up and proper symmetrical expansion like it's supposed to look. And that's the only one. This one did expand and did go to a big size, which is why it underpenetrated, uh, only made it to 11 inches. Uh, it's asymmetrical, it's not, it's damaging, but it's not that impressive. And then the denim bullet did expand a bit, but not properly. It, that's not really what you want to see. When you compare it to how the HSTs do or, or any other modern premium bullet, um, Hydroshock's really showing its age. Uh, so here they are, so you can see what they did, but what they did isn't all that impressive. Okay, wrap up on the Hydroshock. Yeah, I think it's kind of a wrap on the Hydroshock. I think it's time for, you know, classics. Sometimes classics are classics and they last forever, like, you know, Boston's music or something like that. And sometimes <clears throat> around stays at the party too long. Hydroshock was good in its day. Maybe it's still decent in longer bar barrel pistols. I didn't try it in longer barrel, but regarding the three inch barrel, I think Hydroshock's a poor choice. I think there are much better choices out there. And I definitely recommend if you like Federal, look at the HST. All the HSTs perform brilliantly from the three inch pistol. No, no reason to bother with the Hydroshocks anymore. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified next time a video is posted.